So this is probably the first time you see the utility. If not, then you'll recognize a lot of stuff from our live stream. Um, I'm going to just jump straight into it. So here you can see I have the utility in front of me and the keyboard here. I'm in my digital profile. It's nice rainbowy right now. Uh, and here if I change the mode, it changes to analog profile one and the utility changes at the same time with the keyboard. So it's synchronized with each other. Now, digital mode is your go-to keyboard mode. So this is the one you'll be using the most for general keyboard use. As in analog profile one, I prepared for GTA five, we'll be showing in a minute. And analog profile two is also for GTA five, but then flying, uh, but we'll get in there in a second. So let's start with colors. As you can see, as I'm changing the profiles, the keyboard's syncing with the utility. Um, I don't like the red colors on the keyboard right now. So we're going to change a couple of colors and I would like to change to some green colors, for example. So WASD, we make it green and we have this pink color here that I use very often. We're going to change these modifiers to pink. And you can see instantly that the colors are changing with the keyboard. Now let's save this so it stays on and I can swap them between the modes and it's still there. All right, so if we go further down, you can see here the gamepad bindings. Now these are the gamepad bindings I made for GTA 5. Uh, you can see left analog and WSD and left trigger, right trigger and WS and I'll get in there in a second. This is for X input. And here on the right, we have some general keyboard settings such as the actuation point, which we'll get to also. And then we have the function toggle, which is not very important right now, but it's about quick media access keys. Then you have the general key bindings you can change here for switching profiles or switching between modes. And then here we have our advanced gamepad settings, which is right now, if you want to turn on digital keys, which means that you can still use the keyboard while using it analog, um, and can change the analog curve, meaning that you can change where the value starts and where the value ends and how fast it goes from start to end. And you might want to have that different for every game. So you can see here, I changed this for GTA 5 specifically. This is a curve I like for GTA 5 that I just set up. And if I go to another profile, for example, this one for flying, I haven't changed anything of the analog curve. You can see it's still a linear one, uh, but you can change it for every analog profile to your own preferences, including if you want to have the keyboard on or off. Okay, so let's jump into a game to show you what kind of setup I made. All right, I'm in GTA 5. It's a little bit hectic. The police is chasing somebody around here. But anyway, I'm in digital mode and you can see from my walking speed, this is the max. And if I press shift, I can start sprinting. Now you should know that in GTA 5, there is no analog walking. So there's no point in using analog mode in this case. And that's why we made two different analog profiles for <laughs> driving a car and for flying. Now let's start driving a car. Yeah, you too. Okay, so let's go in. I changed the mode to analog mode here, which is for driving a car. In this case, this profile. And you can see I can slowly drive forward. Let's break here for the stop sign. Take a look. Nope, nobody here. Let's make a beautiful turn. Okay, there we go. And as you can see, it's uh, works pretty well. You can drive analog here. I can make some slow turns and I can make some big turns here. It gets a little bit getting used to as you're not used to pressing these keys slightly, but uh, you get the hang of it quite fast. Now let me get out of the car here. Because one of the annoying parts is that maybe you feel that when you're out of the car, you need to go back to digital mode. I need to press mode here to go back and you need to press mode again when you go back in the vehicle and it can be quite annoying. First you're wondering why would you even need to change between profiles? Why don't you just stay in the analog profile? Well, let me show you here. When I'm in analog profile and walking, I'm punching and that's not, you know, what you want. And you can see the rest works quite fine, but every time I walk forward, I punch. And the reason why is we need to take a look into the utility. So let's just jump back into the utility. Here. And you can see here from my analog profile, which I made for driving and we were just using, I have left joystick mapped on WSD, but I also have left and right trigger mapped on S and W. 
The reason why I mapped it on S and W is because for driving a car, you need to use left trigger, right trigger for forward and backwards. But the problem is when you start walking and you press W, you're not only pressing left joystick up, but you're also pressing right trigger, which is equal to shooting or you know hitting somebody. So that's why you get this weird behavior and you need to swap between profiles. So previously I said you need to press mode key to swap between these profiles, but let's say we want a faster key, a quicker key, other than mode. Then we can just change that right here with mode key. So double click this one uh, and let's change to caps lock for example and save it and let's go back in the game and swap between profiles. Okay, so we're back in GTA. I'm still in my analog mode here, as you can see, punch. Now we want to go to digital mode. So there's press caps lock, caps lock here to swap. And now instantly I can swap in between profiles with caps lock. Next up is flying. So I made a separate profile for flying. Let's get in chopper here. You might have noticed I'm using blue switches here so you can hear the clicky sounds. The click doesn't get that much in the way of analog. Uh, actually, it also kind of helps you to know when analog starts. So sometimes it can be pretty nice, but it's very user dependent. If I get into the chopper, I made a special profile for this one, which is on analog profile two. When I press caps lock, I swap between digital mode and analog profile one. But in this case, I need analog profile two. So I mapped it on function arrow down. Now I'm in my flying mode, my analog flying mode. But obviously you're gonna say, what if you go out of the chopper, right? We need to go back to digital mode. So out of the chopper, press caps lock, back in digital mode. But when I go back in the chopper, I need to quickly swap back to the analog mode. So what I just do is press caps lock again, and it just goes back to the last analog profile I used. So instantly start flying. Now let me go up here. And I can start flying straight away. Now I made this profile specifically for flying, and you need to change a couple of uh, Xbox buttons. You want to turn off digital keys and change some key mappings in the game itself. I won't go into too many details, but I just want to show you that you can quickly swap between profiles for different user cases. Now, I think if I jump out, I'm going to die. So let's land the chopper now. So I'm back in the utility. I'm in my flying analog profile. You can see here, I set up the different keys for the controller. And you can also see here that I disabled digital keys. And the reason why is because I didn't want digital keys to influence anything of my control. But this also means that I cannot use it for typing because the keyboard is disabled or typing is disabled. Digital keys are disabled. And this activation point you see here depends on the digital keys. So wherever you put the activation point is where it starts registering the keyboard stroke. Now you can see in this other analog profile I made for driving, is that I do have digital keys on and I can type with the keyboard at the same time. Now, each profile individually can change the activation point and will save for each profile itself. So you don't have to globally change it at all. Now, this was the basics of the utility. We have more functionalities coming out in upcoming updates and before it's at your house, but we'll show those in a future video. I hope you enjoyed and thanks.